I'm just going to show you some of the tools that you can do. And one of the things that we have is the pen tool. So if I come over here and I look at this tool, the pen tool, and if I, again, if I click and hold on that, I have some other pen options available to me. But the pen tool, what that does is let me draw using segments. So I'm going to create points, and that's going to create a segment between each two points. I get the segment. I know it sounds like math. We've gone back to geometry again. We're going to talk about that. But we're going to create uh, points, and it will create segments for us. And then we can make changes to that. Now, what am I going to do with these objects? They could be standalone graphics that I create. I could be creating a shape that becomes a frame that I put text in or an image in. But it's not a closed frame. It's not a rectangle. It's not even a starburst. Maybe I want to create a squiggle, just a strange squiggle or something with a really odd shape all the way around and close it up and have an image inside there. I can do that as well. So to do that, I would probably use the pen tool. I may use the pencil tool. And we're going to look at both of those in a minute. So the pen tool, and again, I'm not going to do a whole, uh, a whole tutorial on creating with the pen. Um, if you want to, there's, there's several online. If you've been using it in Photoshop or Illustrator, you're already familiar with it. But what the pen tool lets you do is create points. So I'm just going to click with the pen tool. I'm just going to click once. And now you notice it changed from that star. I'm going to hit delete. Right. So I'm going to go back to just the pen tool. And it has this little star on it. Hopefully, you can see that. That didn't really make it much bigger, did it? So we can see that little star. It just says, OK, I'm ready to draw. But as soon as I click, it changes to a different tool. And we'll talk about that in a little while. Basically, all I do is put a dot on my page. Now, the first thing I want to do before I draw much more than that, and as long as I don't hit another tool, I, I will still be ready to draw more on this line. I want to come back to the fill and stroke. I'm going to click on Stroke here. And let's change it so it's something a little darker. So I'm going to come into the Swatches panel, pick something that's there. Let's actually use the cinnamon. I think it's just a little darker. And I'm also going to go up to the Strokes panel really quick. And I want to make it bigger. And this is just so we can see it. And again, if I always want it to be a nice, let's say, let's do eight point. If I want it to be an eight point teal or a cinnamon stroke, I would do that with no document open. And every new stroke I draw would have that. So actually, let's do that just for this document. I'm going to delete where we already started. Let's pretend we didn't start that. Let's change that to that nice eight point, because I'm going to be drawing several strokes. And I don't want to have to keep changing that each time. So I'm going to go ahead and go to swatches. We'll make it cinnamon. So it's eight point now. And we're going to talk about strokes uh, in a little more in depth in just a little while. All right, so I'm going to start with the pen tool. And I'm going to click a point. looks exactly the same. Now I'm going to click another point. And what it did is it created a stroke that was between those two points. Now the reason I want to use the pen tool as opposed to the line tool, which we didn't really talk about. It doesn't really do much except make a line. But it makes one line. And when you lift up you know, the second point, that's it. That's your line. What the pen tool does is continue to draw that. And the other thing it does is it gives you this nice mitered edge when we put that together. Right, so um, if I were to, say, use the line tool instead, and I draw a line, I would click and draw that line. And as soon as I let go and draw again, it drew a second line. So of course, where those come together, if I zoom in really closely on that, you notice they didn't line up very well. I've got two lines that are just completely sitting on top of each other. So that's why we use the pen tool instead. So I'm going to select these items and delete that. So let's go back to this. Uh, pen tool that we have or th that we had going here. So I'm going to go ahead and click and click. And as I do that, it's just creating these straight lines. The other thing that I can do is create what's called a curved line. Right now, this is a corner point. So every time I clicked, it just created that hard corner point and that nice mitered edge. But maybe what I really wanted was a nice curve. Well, I can click and hold and drag. And when I do that, I get these handles, these drag handles that change the angle of the arc. And as I pull down, I'm just going to let scroll down to give me a little bit more room here. It will change the, um, the angle of that as well. So the angle and the height of that arc is being changed. right? And it's drawing it from that point outward. I'm going to let go. And so it draws it to there. Now, if I click again and hold again, it's going to continue a nice, smooth arc. Now, it might not be exactly the arc I was hoping for. I can always go back and change it later. But again, it's going to continue drawing it in a nice, smooth uh, way. If I want this now to be maybe a corner point or a reverse direction and come back here, I will click on this end point. So let's zoom in so we can see that. Click on that, and one of the handles goes away. And now I'm going to just click here. So now we're back to that hard corner point. So I can click and hold to get the curved. And I can click on it once to reverse the direction and get back to corner points. 